everyone, Embol here, and I'm manager of the ROSS. Essentially, it's a community of users who make object show content on Scratch. There's a lot of object related content on Scratch, as you can see by the stuff that I'm scrolling through. But what are the oldest object show projects on Scratch? A few months ago, I made a script that grabs the pro every single project of Scratch 1, and then I filtered it to only contain terms like Battle 4 and BFTI, and other object shows. So, with that said, what is the first ever object show project? Well, back in September 2018, I created Object Battle, which was my first ever object show. Back then, I thought I was the first person to make an object show on Scratch. But realized later, I was far from right. Let's go further back. Three years back, in fact. The next object show in mind is Object Invasion, created by BFDIA Master, now known as Fusion Animations. The clip you're seeing right now is from October 2015, which was Object Invasion's first episode. However, there exist projects far older than Object Invasion. But to actually see them, we need to go all the way back. Back to the days of Scratch 1 which is where we'll see 40 of the oldest SOSC projects. There will be some exceptions here and there, but these are the ones I could find using my filter. At number 39 is Current Teams on BFDIA by CJM5555. This project, like the name suggests, is the Teams on BFDIA as a 5e. Yeah, because the project came out on May 5th, 2013, it's not exactly accurate to the most recent BFDIA episodes. Which I decided to fix here. On to number which is titled BFDI Blocky Eraser and Pen, also by CJM5555. This is a mart showing Blocky Eraser and Pen standing in front of the tiny loser chamber. There's not much to say about this project, so let's move on to the next one. That being called New Series Battle for Scratch Isle Read Description, created by Hunger Phantom 2012. The project announces a potential new Battle for Scratch Isle series. This object show includes a bunch of fan made characters, which are on the screen right now. The project also includes some cool facts about said contestants. Like how Kenny loves art! How come I didn't know about that? The creator had also requested 5 additional characters which would be created by the community. Now I'm just going to shut up so you can see all the characters for yourself, and we'll move on to the next one. I'm not too sure if this counts, but I'm counting it anyway. This is titled My Contest Stand for Battle for Scratch Island. Created by Herman Frutit. I hope I'm saying that right. The project just shows core, which is why I wasn't too sure if this should be included or not. The next project is BFTI Elimination Order by, once again, CJM5555. Obviously, this just shows the elimination order of BFDI, with objects getting hidden if they get eliminated, and objects being shown if they rejoin. When it's revealed that Fiery won BFDI, he grows limbs. Next project, this one I easily spent the most time playing through. This is Inanimate Insanity Survival Game. Select any Inanimate Insanity contestant and dodge the vote icons. Hitting a vote icon will deduct one life. You start with 100 lives at the start of the game. You lose if your lives hit zero or if you touch the yellow voted off icons. If you want to unlock all of the characters, best get good at the game. One thing that's cool is that if you play as Bo, she'll have her iconic chair. And when I mean every character is playable, I mean every major character from Season 1. This includes villain Mifon 4S and... Party Hat? I forgot to mention this project was created by Anko6, the same person who made Brawl of the Objects, which Party Hat is in. This project, which is called BFDI Contestant Announcers Unfinished, also by CJM5555, are just all contestants with the speaker box's speaker attached to them. Also, Fiery and Flower speaker boxes are there for some reason. Another project by CGM5555 is BFDI non 8 Brit Sprites 10 out of 22 done. Long title, I know. But a lot of effort was put into this project. David says, aw, seriously. And another David sometimes gets angry. Spongy sometimes smiles. And so does a mysterious yellow cube. Is this the first instance of an object OC? Well, I'm not too sure about that. Once again, another CGM5555 project. This time called BFDI Clones. Now, clones didn't exist until Scratch 2, so what CJN did is just stamped a bunch of BFDI contestants onto the canvas. That's why you can see the BFDI contestants being stamped forever, as opposed to being cloned, which has a 300 clone limit. That's all of the info I can tell you about this project right now. 
So let's move on to the next project, which is, you guessed it, another CJM5555 project, called BFDI Episode 1 Part 1 The Epic Contest. Even though this follows the same challenge idea as the real BFDI 1A, the outcome is different compared to the two. Both Leafy and Pim fall, so they can't be team captains, and as a matter of fact, we don't know who the team captains are, because after Golf Ball falls, the game just ends. Well, it's not really a game, it's more of an animation. But anyways, next, which is sprites for BFDI, also by CJM5555. But these are just the pixel art sprites of BFDI contestants that we've been seeing in the last two projects. Nothing else to see here, let's move on to the final CJM5555 project, which is just titled Battle for Dream Island, which features the exact same pixel art as the last three projects. Okay, we need some music. Something like Just a Bit BFDI 3 by Mega Hedgehog 26. This is a remix of Just a Bit Crazy from Ed's World, which had been remade onto Scratch by another user, which had been remixed by this user. The project is a little bit out of sync. So let's move on to the next one. This one's called Fang Soup BFDI version, and it's by Grace Jax 340 This is a remix of the original Fang Soup project. But this time, we have Bubble, Ice Cube, and Puffball dancing to what seems to be the Pirates of the Caribbean theme? Yeah, I'm not too sure how this Fang Soup thing works. Why are there Angry Birds in the background? Oh well, the less info the better. The next one is also called BFDI by The Prince. This is a test animation of Pim Popping Bubble and whatever Match and Pencil are doing, and they seem to keep rotating every time they do it. Overall, not much to say about the animation. However, there's a lot to say about this animation. Now, I decided that these three projects should be combined into one. This is BFDI 3 Episode 1 How It Started by Mega Hedgehog 26. Some of the voices here are a bit crusty, so it's very difficult what they're trying to make out. Much like regular BFDI, the first challenge is to, well, don't fall down the beam. I don't think the season of BFDI got a second episode, much like the real season 3 of BFDI. This next project is called I Add More Voices to the Inanimate Challenge Audition 3 by Philippa Bros. This just includes a bunch of voices to the object show Inanimate and Challenge, which I'm not sure where to find on Scratch. Also, Party Hat makes his return here along with weird choices like Simple Plan, and of course a bunch of other Astiff movie clips. Because I seem to find a pattern of Astiff movie stuff here. I even used some of these voices to make an animation. Like Ball, let's form an alliance! What are you saying? What happened to his voice? I bounce a lot! How the hell does that even work?! Next up is BFDI Nacho Slots by Roblox Nacho. This seems to be a remix of the original BFTI slots, but with just a bunch of modifications like a nacho being added. Aside from those changes, the game's relatively the same. Spin the slots and win money. Though the chances are, you're about to lose. BFTI Soundtrack Normal by Roblox Nacho is exactly what you think it is. It's just New Friendly by Kevin MacLeod. That's all that plays. The music even loops, but no other music is played. The project titled The First BFDI Project, I Think, by Roblox Nacho, isn't actually the first BFDI project. The project just includes the announcer talking about something. Also, there's another BFDI project, but I don't know if this counts. It's called Awesome Face Inanimate, which is just the awesome face with the BFDI mouth attached to it. You know what, I'll count this, only because I'm nice. Next! Okay, for these next set of videos, they were slightly corrupted, so I had to relaunch Movie Maker. But the next project is BFDI Hunger Games Cornucopia Bloodbath slash Fallen Scene by Hunger Phantom 2012. This is just the bloodbath scene of Hunger Games but with BFDI contestants. For all the contestants that died, their names will be shown on the screen in the stars. And before you ask, I don't think there was ever a second part to the BFDI Hunger Games. Though it would be interesting if there were a sequel. Let's move on to the next project. Ever wonder where the original BFDI slots came from? Well, it actually came from Hunger Phantom 2012 again! The difference between BFDI slots and BFDI Nacho slots is that it doesn't include any of Roblox Nacho's characters. Anyways, let's move on to the next project, which are three projects also joined up. This is BFDI All Stars, also created by Hunger Phantom 2012. The show focuses on 32 contestants in two teams, the blue squares and the green circles. The first and only challenge is a foot race in which the blue squares lose. And for episode 2, all that's left is a sneak peek. The next project on our list is Challenge to Win Comics 2 by DC1. Which are just what you think. 
comics from the show Challenge to Win. There are three comics in this project. One that features a trampoline, one that features Box, and another that features this bug creature. And those are all the comics in Challenge to Win Comics 2. I don't know why Challenge to Win Comics 1 isn't on this list. Now let's move on to- hold on, I thought I already reviewed this project. This is I Add Voices to the Inanimate Challenge Auditions by Te Oshawa, which I assume to be the original. This is kinda like the project we reviewed a couple minutes ago. Heck, even Party Hat makes his return in this project. A lot of these characters have their same voices, except for a brand new character called The End. At least I assume it's a new character, let's move on to the next one. This next project is all inanimate insanity of the characters except recommended characters by Pingo X 2012 Now despite this saying all inanimate insanity characters, there are only 9 contestants. I couldn't find anything else about this project. So let's move on to the next one. That being messing around with BFDI assets and lip sync by Semfemenkite. Semfem Monkey, there we go. This is just a test with the announcer's speaking thing. And Fiery's lip syncing and flame animating. Nothing much there. Another project by Semfem Monkey is BFDI Sprites, which just contains all of the BFDI character bodies at different angles as well. Did I mention we're getting pretty close to the end? Next is Inanimate Insanity on Cartoon Network by Pinguex2012. This is just some fan-made artwork of the Inanimate Insanity show on Cartoon Network. Would be cool though. Up next is Beef DI and Inanimate Insanity Characters 1 by Scratchboy101. This includes the Beef DI finalists, Coiny and who I assume to be Nickel, Puffball, the announcer, Spiky Mervert, and Rubber Band, the first ever instance of an object OC on Scratch. But this next project will go on to be the very first object show signups. Challenge to Win Sign Up by DC1. Challenge to Win is an object show where contestants battle to win a beach. And these are obviously the signups. With that said, we're now at the top three, with number three being BFDIO Preview by Some Fem Monkey. This was a plan for the upcoming BFDI Olympics that Some Fem Monkey was trying to create. Though I don't think it got past this preview. Before we get to the top two, I would just like one quick honorable mention, which is Join in Battle for Kapuka Hotel by Kapuka. This isn't necessarily an object show, but it is the first ever show where objects are present. We can see this because Party Hat signed up. And by taking a look at one of the episodes of BFCH, yeah, there are objects present. But oh well, let's move on to the next project, which is number two on this list which is all the BFDI characters except David by Sumpha Monkey. This project includes the original 20 BFDI contestants, and of course, the announcer. There's a bunch of attention to detail on this art, like how Bubble is eating Yoyle cake. Anyways, the number one oldest object show that I could find is... Pause for dramatic effect. You have to see this, BFDI, by, once again, Anko6. Now, this doesn't actually include any objects, but it does reference BFDI and Jack and Jellyfy, so I think it counts. Essentially, this project just shows Anko 6's excitement about being in a Jack and Jellyfy project. The video in question being titled, Am I Waiting on a Tribute Video? And one of Anko's animations was actually included in said video. Now, you may be wondering what the original project looked like. Well, I'll show you, 